So let's have a look. I'm going to, I'm going to try out some, I'm going to try out my little highlighter here. So on the slide here, what I'm showing you is why, why I say equities is the, is the engine house. So if you have a look at this, this is 100 Rand invested since 1924. Uh, you can see what, what's happened to that. That's your equities component. That's your massive driver. Then you've got, lower down here, you've got bonds and cash, slightly outperforming inflation. But, but equities is by far the biggest driver of performance. Then on the right of the slide, what you'll see is the other thing that we always say to clients as well is maybe look at adding something like commodities to your, to your portfolio. Because if you have a look at this over the last 11, 12 years, commodities has also given you this, this huge driver of performance uh, in your portfolio. But it comes with risk. It tends to be quite volatile. Okay, so let's, let's get rid of that. So moving on. If we look at historical uh, returns, equities, as I've said, are, it tends to be the driver of your portfolio. If you look long enough, over long enough periods, so sort of 20, 25 years, equities tends to give you between 15 and 18% performance per year. That's why you want to have quite a lot of equities in your portfolio. So whether you look at that, the, S, the returns 1925 to 2005, or look at the one on the right hand side of, of my slide, you'll see equities is giving you around about 16, 17% performance over a long period of time. And that's what give you the most performance in your portfolio. Bonds, slightly lower, about 8%. And that is just outperforming inflation, which is running at about 6 And cash is just a tiny little bit above inflation. So just having cash in your portfolio will probably not keep up with uh, inflation uh, after costs. So clearly you want to have quite a large chunk of equity. You want to have a piece of bonds and you want to have some cash. The other thing about uh, equities is if you're in the markets very short term, you tend to, equities tends to have the highest risk. And, and that you can see there, if in a one year, if we look at, that's a 55 years that they've had a look at in this slide, you can see that equities could either give you a 50% up or minus 26% down. So that's the problem with equities over one year. And that's why equities and shares, you tend to have to hold them for the medium term to long term. So if you have a look, if you go 15, 20, 25 years, you'll see that you almost, well, you never lose money with equities as long as you hold them long enough. So you'll see over 25 years, equities will give you between 17% up to 8% up. That's the tends to be the range. If you look at the right-hand side of the slide, you'll see that the longer you hold your shares, uh, and this is, if you look at the 5 to 10-year period, there's almost, there is no 10-year rolling period where equities actually loses you money. So the art on equities is you need to be in there. As I said in the slide, time heals most wounds. You need to be in equities medium term to long term because in the short term, you can actually experience quite a bit of volatility. The other thing about creating your portfolio is you need to ask yourself these sort of questions. Your time horizon. Unfortunately, if you're in a portfolio for very short periods of time, so let's say a year, two years, you need to have quite liquid, low risk type investments. So you tend to have more cash, more bonds, less equities. So your time horizon will definitely determine how much of the different asset classes. Your appetite for risk. Now, I love risk. So clearly, someone like me, I've got time in the market. I've got quite an appetite for risk. I'm going to have lots of shares. I'm going to probably add some commodities, and I'm going to have less, and I'm going to have more listed property, but I'm going to have, probably have less cash and less bonds. You might have a low-risk appetite. So you might want to have much more bonds, more cash compared to my portfolio. And then do you need income? If you need income from a portfolio, then you need those um, asset classes that will drive a yield. So listed property, cash, and bonds will give you far more income than just having pure shares in your portfolio. Even within your shares, though, you can create more income if you look at stocks, shares that have a higher dividend yield, and that will give you a slight kicker in your income. 